Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're examining the seven least reliable midsize SUVs for 2024. The Nissan Murano is ranked number seven. Its sleek curves are striking, but dependability isn't one of its strong points. JD Power reports that the Murano's dependability rating is marginally below average. According to Consumer Reports, there are better options for worry-free ownership. Given that the Murano platform has been available for a while, the primary problem appears to be a lack of innovation. This occasionally results in issues that are concealed beneath its alluring surface. Certain reports draw attention to possible flaws with the continuously variable transmission, even though there aren't any significant widespread problems. Is the Murano therefore a total write-off? Not always. It might still be an option if you prioritize a powerful V6 engine and an elegant look above modern dependability. However, it could be a good idea to take into account competitors with better reputations for dependability if you're looking for a stress-free ownership experience. The Subaru Ascent is ranked number 6. The Ascent had a bad reputation at first since it was frequently listed as the least reliable device by consumer reports because of transmission problems that left owners stranded. For 2024, there's a twist though. Subaru redesigned the Ascent by going back to the drawing board. Renowned for their astute assessments, Consumer Reports observed the enhancements. They discovered that the transmission problems had greatly abated, earning the Ascent a place on their suggested list. Although there are still a few complaints of gearbox problems, it appears like Subaru has fixed a lot of the early concerns. Is the Ascent now the epitome of dependability? Though not quite yet, Consumer Reports' recent reversal suggests it's headed in the right direction. Compare it to a student who performed exceptionally well on a repeat exam. While they show promise, they still require more consistency to establish an outstanding reputation. Fifth on our list is the Hyundai Palisade. Despite its apparent allure for family road vacations, Consumer Reports cautions against buying it. Though it has a stylish exterior and a cozy cabin, this SUV is apparently rife with possible problems that might make your ideal travel experience a nightmare. Serious issues with the Palisades engine, electrical systems, and even airbags are brought up by consumer reports. These are serious issues that pose a risk to safety and may require expensive fixes. You don't want to make memories with your loved ones of being stuck because of an engine failure or worse, of an airbag malfunction in an accident. Although not every Palisade may have these difficulties, the large number of complaints points to a general presence of flaws in this model year. It is advised by consumer reports to wait to buy a Palisade until Hyundai resolves these issues. For stress-free road journeys, a dependable vehicle is necessary, and waiting for Hyundai to fix these problems could guarantee a better ownership experience. Fourth on our list is the Chevrolet Blazer. Although its elegant appearance may draw your attention, Consumer Reports advises delaying celebration. The Blazer's dependability score fell to 33 out of 100 in their most recent reliability survey, which puts it significantly below average for new SUVs. Due to your low score, you may find yourself at the mechanic more frequently than on leisurely drives. While Consumer Reports still gave the Blazer a recommendation in 2023, its most current research shows a drop in dependability. Highlighted problems were the climate control, brakes, and transmission, which resulted in unanticipated problems including jitters, clunks, and temperature swings, hardly things anyone wants. It's important to note that other sources may have different views on reliability than consumer reports, which is not the exclusive authority on the subject. But this new information calls into question the Blazer's standing as a trouble-free car. Before making your final choice, it could be a good idea to take other competitors for a test drive if reliability is important to you. Third on our list is the Kia Sorento. Although the update has a sleek new look, preliminary assessments indicate that reliability may not have been a priority. Despite Kia's marketing portraying the Sorento as a calm haven for busy lives, some critics find it to be more stressful than peaceful, particularly the turbocharged versions appear to be a source of worry. According to Consumer Reports, problems with the engine and transmission start to appear after a few thousand kilometers. It's not exactly the adventure that buyers of the Kia Sorentos are looking for, so picture your first road trip being a diversion to visit the mechanic. The Sorento's claims of smooth and effective driving are clouded by these problems. 
a few trips to the dealership could be the price paid for faster acceleration and higher gas mileage. It's crucial to keep in mind that these are only preliminary findings and that Kia is renowned for having excellent warranties. But rather than being a huge leap forward, the 2017 Sorento may be more of a question mark for people seeking a worry-free ownership experience. We have the Ford Escape at number 2. Reliability issues paint a different picture despite the device's sharply updated look. While some owners find it comfortable and performs well, others find themselves going to the repair shop on a regular basis. The infotainment system is one problem that is frequently reported. Despite the larger display on the new SYNC 4 system, some users find it to be quite sensitive and need continual tweaking for simple operations. Imagine attempting to enjoy music while driving only to have your screen glitch. Not exactly the perfect combination for relaxation. Noticeable wind noise is another problem, especially when it comes to the driver's side. This continuous whoosh has the potential to make commutes unbearably noisy, overpowering podcasts and conversations. Even though Ford is aware of the issue, a long-term solution is still elusive, leaving some owners with the impression that they are always traveling in a convertible. Remember that individual experiences may differ and that these are only a few of the difficulties that have been documented. To find out if the Escape lives up to its reputation by averting potential issues down the road, it could be prudent to take a full test drive if a dependable and stress-free trip is your top concern. The Nissan Pathfinder is ranked first. Even though it's an attractive competitor in the midsize SUV market, there are still issues with its dependability. Consumer reports evaluations for the 2023 Pathfinder advise waiting before rejoicing, even though they lack a crystal ball. In comparison to its competitors, the Pathfinder scores merely mediocre on JD Power's expected reliability rating, coming in at 77 out of 100. Consumer Reports cautions that, although some owners may experience trouble-free travel, this Nissan may not be as dependable as the average new car. Some faults are brought to light by owners of the 2022 and 2023 models sharing their real-world experiences. While not all reviews are bad, some owners have complained about electrical issues such as a problematic remote start and a power-folding mirror that has a mind of its own. It's crucial to remember that the Pathfinder has had a complete makeover, which may cause some initial problems. Hopefully, Nissan has taken care of any significant issues. However, if dependability is your top priority, you might be better off waiting to see how the Pathfinder's dependability develops over the course of the next year or two. Thanks for watching to the very end. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel in order to see more videos if you found them helpful.